Okay, this is a really common uh, work order that I do here at the apartments. And that is when there's light coming in at the frame or the door in the frame where they meet. Uh, that means the weather stripping is not good. So if light's coming in, that means that hot and cold weather are also coming in and sometimes bugs. This problem has two issues. One is there's a pretty big gap up here uh, up on the top hinge. As you can see next to the hinge, be between the hinge and the frame, there's a gap, which means that the door is actually hitting on the other side here. On this side, you can see where it's been hitting. I got to fix this first before I can uh, adjust the door, be before I can adjust the, the, the light gap. Um, so this is this is what, what you regularly see. That's uh, weather stripping that's on doors. As you can see, it's, it's got some weather stripping here. And there's two ways of fixing this thing. A lot of people will go and, and put foam behind all that weather stripping. And, you know, they'll start putting foam behind it and, and uh, they'll build up that weather stripping with foam. That's one way of doing it, but that's not the, the way I do it. The weather stripping in this case is still good, not torn up. It's not a, There's nothing wrong with it. It's been painted, but it's still in good shape. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're actually going to move the door towards the weather stripping instead of adding weather stripping to it. Like I said, there's people that, that put foam behind these. And I've seen all kinds of stuff. They're, they sell that sticky foam that people use on this. And that's one way of doing it. But like I said, that's that's not really the right way. That's not the way I would do it. In this case, what we want to do is there's that gap there. Now, I'm going to push the door towards. And as you can see, as soon as I push the door, that closes that gap. So the problem is not really the weather stripping. The problem is the door is actually not closing all the way. The one thing that we do have to do is fix before I move the, the plate, which is what I'm going to do in this case. I have to fix the, the this hinge. I did a video about this a, a couple years ago uh, where, where I'm going to move the door. Hinges have adjustments, so we're going to adjust this, this hinge. Uh, first thing is we're going to take this pin off. Of course, um, I'm just using a screwdriver. I do have a punch and different you know hammers and stuff, but I'm just going to do it really simple, real basic, so that somebody in their house can, with their regular tools that they have at home, they can do it. Now, what we're going to do here is is we want the door to move towards the wall, in this case, towards the frame. So we're going to bend the hinges. There's three, three of the knuckles on the hinges, the ones that are actually on the door in this case. We're going to bend them towards the door because what we want to do is that when we drive our, our pin back in, that's going to pull the door towards the frame in this case. So that's the first thing we did is we, we're going to adjust the door. And it's really important that we do this before I adjust the, the plate on this door. So just like that, you just adjust it with a simple crescent wrench and then you put it back in. And then as you can see here, that's going to that's gonna close that gap a little bit up top, which is really going to help it too. Also, the door is not going to be hitting on the frame anymore, which is going to make it a little, a lot easier to open and close. As you can see now, you're going to be able to see that light gap that now it's going to go up higher. You can barely see it, but there is that light gap. And this will work when there's a bigger light gap too. In this case, it was it was pretty small. That's kind of unfortunate, but that's all I had to work with in this case. So that's what we did. That's the first part is adjusting the hinge. Well, before I go any further, I want to explain why I had to adjust this hinge. It's really important because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be moving the the, the plate uh, where, where the actual doorknob hits. And I have to adjust this before I, I do that that uh, adjustment on the plate because I want the door to line up and be exactly where I want it. What I did here, I'm going to explain it again. I moved the three hinges that are on the actual door uh, towards the door, door side. And that's what... what caused the door to slide over towards the wall side now like i said you can take these screws off right here and you could actually push push that weather stripping if you had to that's one way you could do that too in this case somebody had already put it and they had done a good job and i know the weather stripping is good i know it's still good like i said you could take those screws off and you can move it but in this case all we're going to do is we're just going to adjust this strike plate this is the plate where the door actually latches that's what we're going to have to move. If we move it towards the outside, that's going to move the whole door towards the outside. And all we're going to do in this case is we're going to, of course, we've got to take it off. What happens is if you can notice here, it's already hitting. It's got to cut out a notch and it's already hitting where, 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 you know, where it's supposed to go. So it's, it's all the way scooted as far as it can out towards the outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to take it off 
in this case somebody has already done a lot of work to it but that's okay it'll work because we're actually moving our our strike plate towards the outside which is somewhere where it's it's never been uh, screwed so i just got a utility knife i'm gonna cut about i would say about a quarter of an inch that's about what i need in this case so i'm just gonna cut it it's kind of a rough cut um it's 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 i'm not doing anything really fancy or special here um i try to use tools that people have in their homes like screwdrivers and stuff like that of course i have chisels and different tools but i'm gonna do it a, a really simple basic way so that you could do it at your house with the tools that you have and i get a lot of comments people tell me uh you should use this tool you should use that tool but like i said i try using the tools that you would have at your house to make this repair um if you find any value in this video i'd really appreciate a, a like those really help uh youtube channels a lot and if you're interested in this type of repairs i'm always doing these type of videos so you can uh, uh go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in this kind so now now that i notched further towards the outside all i gotta do now is i'm, I'm gonna screw the strike plate in and in this case i i, I tilted the screw towards the outside because i know that's gonna pull my plate you know towards the outside and that should do it it's it's something something that simple will take care of this this light gap don't use all that foam uh, there's cases that you do need it sometimes i've gone, gone to apartments where i have to actually peel off all the foam that people have been uh, putting on it over time of course the plate that is for the uh, deadbolts in this case we're gonna have to move it also and line it up with the uh, strike plate for the for the doorknob and just like that if you can see it it's closed and there's no more no more uh, light gap and that's it it's a real simple fix i hope somebody found some value in this and uh I hope you guys have a great day today.